What up, 2013 was a great year for black film and all you can get is 12 years of slave with nine nominations. It ain't looking good for the future. This morning, the nominations for the 86th Annual Academy Awards were announced and there was one snub that shocked a lot of people. Lee Daniels, The Butler. Not only was the civil rights biopic not acknowledged for best picture, but the film's actors were left out as well. Oprah Winfrey and Forrest Whitaker, two actors who critics were sure to be nominated for their outstanding roles in the drama, were completely shut down by the Academy. Among some of the other films that received no love, Michael B. Jordan's Fruitville Station and Idris Elba's Mandela. But while many critics are surprised about the lack of black film nominations, film critic Sean Edwards is not. It's not much of a shocker because when you understand how the Academy is comprised, you kind of understand that there are not a lot of black folk voting for this. The numbers are the numbers. And when you're in a minority, you can't be the majority. You can't get movies like Mandela, Fruitvale, and Butler in because there just aren't enough votes and people don't appreciate that perspective. The, the black perspective in film still is neglected, still isn't respected. Those movies don't have a shot. 12 Years a Slave did get nine nominations and while Edwards says it was one of the best films, he's viewing it from a more objective perspective. If I were a betting man, I'll put my money on American Hustle because I know how the critics and the members of the Academy and everyone else votes. They're going straight American Hustle. So let us know what you think. Are you surprised about the lack of black films nominated? Tell us in the comment section below. For Hip Hollywood, I'm Jonathan Rapp.